mental health, health inclusion, our emotional, emotional psychological, psychological, and social well being. It affects affect how, how we how think, we think feel, feel, and act. act. It, it also helps also determine how we handle stress, stress relate, relate, to, relate others, to others, and make, and choices. make choices. Mental, mental health, health is important, is important at, every at every stage of life, life. from childhood, from childhood and adolescence, adolescence through, through adult adult. What is good, you guys? We are at the Racine Health First Annual Community Fair here at Gateway. We got Renee Beck is in the house. She's doing some presentations right now on depression. And what's the next one you're doing? Health and fitness. Health and fitness. Talk to them. Tell them what you're doing. Hi, I'm Renee Beck Santiago. I'm here live at the Health and Wellness Community Care at Gateway Technical College. It's their first one, and we are excited to be here. Good. Hey, how you doing? Do you know anyone with depression or have you battled depression or do you know any family members with it and what kinds of things have they done to decrease their depression? I say yes. Um, <coughs> I know one person it takes medicine. Great. Um, but I also know that um, Exercise. Um, I, I know someone that has, does exercise, and then um, I also know a couple people based on their faith. They pray. Correct. Yeah. Um, and myself, I have struggled with depression, and I do. I've noticed that exercise and walking, walking helps me, mm -hmm. and praying. Yes. Yes. Those are two things that really helped me mm -hmm. um, when I struggled through the loss of like my father and things like that yes. through intermittent depression, exercise and prayer. But probably the two main things that I've used that you know where I haven't had to go to medication. Mm -hmm. um, not that medication is always bad because I do prescribe antidepressants, but we obviously like to utilize non-medication ways first if we can, and then if not, go to medication. Hi, thanks for coming out and, and being here at the Health and Wellness Fair today. Tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do. All right, so my name is Kayla Mumford. I am um, from Kenosha, Wisconsin. I, I um, make natural products with my essential care product line um, with natural oils, flowers, teas, um, and make everything right at home. Um, I tailor things to the needs of uh, the customers that I work with. Um, some of the products I make that I have here today um, is natural um, body soaps. I make natural um, organic uh, laundry soaps that really fight stains uh, heavily. I make uh, baby products. So you make these products. Amazing. Yep, so everything I do myself. Um, sometimes people help me, but usually I'm at home whipping things up um, by myself, making sure everything's uh, tailored and um, done correctly. Um, I also do doula services with... Um, the organization that I'm creating, Experience, Empower, Embrace. Um, and what is a doula service? Um, I, I know what it is, but I think a lot of people would want to know, what is doula? Can you explain that a little bit to us? Yeah, so a doula is like a birth coach. Um, it's a person that assists a mom when she's giving um, delivery to her child, as well as through her like, pregnancy and postpartum services. Um, so it's just an extra support and resource for a mom to have um, through such an um, empowering time of her life. I'm really trying to get that pushed in Kenosha and Racine to help the infant mortality rate and um, moms who are at risk for the infant mortality rate. So the doula service can help decrease infant mortality rate, is that correct? Correct. So um, definitely just having that extra support and those resources and information and someone to just kind of guide you and educate you um, can definitely help that infant mortality rate, um, just having that extra knowledge. Um, so that's why we really want to push it down in Racine and Kenosha and really give those moms the extra support and care that they deserve as well. How could someone get, um, here is one of the, the brochures for Experience, Empower, and Embrace Doula and Maternity Services. And you know, this is the first time I've heard of this and this is such an excellent service. How would someone go about getting in touch with you and potentially getting the doula services this is so um, under focused on, I would think, in the communities, and we want to get this information out. Is this your current phone number and email address? Kayla Mumford, they can look me up and contact me on Facebook as well. 
Could you just tell us your email address and your phone number so that they can contact you? Yeah, yeah. So um, the email address for the Dual Services is dualsisters.wisconsin. Uh, Dot at gmail.com. I'll say it again. Doulasisters.wi at gmail.com. Uh, telephone number is 414-207-2568. Again, 414-207-2568. And you also make products as well to help people. Yep, so different uh, skin products, I make uh, household products, I make laundry soap, people really love the laundry soap. Um, different organic teas, I blend the herbs together myself. Um, I make products specifically for the moms that I work with, also for again babies and then eczema line for people struggling with eczema and uh, tons of other uh, services as well. Thank you so much for telling us about you. Um, is there anything else that we would need to know? Um, well, just if anyone has any questions, just to contact me, um, or if they just want more um, information on the doula services. Um, I know even with explaining it, people are still kind of like unfamiliar with it. So definitely just contact me and ask questions as well as the, um, the products that I make. Just letting me know what your needs are, and then I can work with you to help, uh, help you with your needs. So can a patient have an OBGYN and still have a doula present for extra support? Yes, yes, definitely. So we don't deliver the baby. We're that extra support um, to you when you're dealing like with doctors and navigating the hospital, um, as well as even if you're having home birth. So we're just that extra support to help you navigate, to advocate for you um, at such a vulnerable time. And so this could be a service for single mothers, but also for couples who are married or together as well, just as an extra support person, correct? Absolutely. So single moms, they really help um, give them the extra support. But even families, um, a lot of times spouses um, and significant others, they, you know, deal with anxiety and things and can really use that support too on how to support their loved one um, during that time. And also sibling care. Um, if moms have other babies, it can be a little difficult to um, focus on them as well as try to deliver their child. So we help with the whole family. Thank you so much. Okay, pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Thank you. So we are at the Health and Wellness Fair, and we have a very interesting and beautiful booth here, and we have a lot of questions about it. So we are going to ask you some questions about it. So I'm here with Brenda and Ann, correct? And tell us a little bit about this booth and what it's about. EGALA is um, actually Equine Therapy, Equine Assisted Growth and Learning Association. So we both actually got certified with EGALA. And Anne is the mental health therapist, and I am the equine specialist. And you need that in order to perform what we do, because they have conventions and they have requirements, and there's updates. And what is um, equine therapy? Horse equine is horse. So um, we use the horses in this therapy to help people see themselves. The people that invented Egala believe that if people knew what they were projecting they would be able to heal themselves. So it's a way for people to see themselves in a different light. Wow, so, that's so interesting. And if you think about it, horses in the wild, naturally, in order for them to survive, have to pick up on what other animals are projecting. So they naturally do this. So when you're with a horse, they're gonna pick up on what you're projecting regardless. And I think, you know, for some people, um, it's a way of connecting back, you know, for post-traumatic or drug addiction or abuse. Have you seen, have you seen improvements in, in different mental illnesses and PTSD and depression? Have you seen improvements using this type of therapy? This is the first time I'm hearing of this. So, so just to, to step back a few paces too. So where, where we do this, Santa's, we do this in an indoor riding arena. And where is that located? That's located at Dietrich Farm in Salem, Wisconsin which is, what, five miles east, west of the eye mm -hmm. here. Um, yeah. It's a very great, nice facility, it's perfect, so we can do it in rain or shine. So what we do is we, when we're doing equine-assisted psychotherapy, we actually close the, the arena off, like it's an office. It's just a big office. So it's HIPAA compliant. Um, it's, it's billed as, through insurance as psychotherapy. Um, so to get back to your question, though, too, about have we seen any benefits um, from people that have experienced this therapy, um, yeah, I got. I have to say yes because we, we keep doing it. We keep having people come back. Um, 
I specifically run a group that is for children that have um, oppositional defiance. They have severe mental health issues. And what 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 we do in the arena with the horses, um, the activities that we do are metaphors to what what they do outside of the arena. So in other words, because the horse is so intuitive, if there are, um, if the horse, if we have the kids do an activity together, and there's no touching, no talking, no horseback riding at all, we have them maybe go through a course. You know, we set a course up. Um, and a lot of times, well, then, then you'll start seeing the emotions come out, you know. Um, during that. During that. Oh. So what our job is, I'm a mental health professional, and as Brenda said, she's the specialist. We are watching any kind of shifts during the activity, like with the horse, as far as how the horse is reacting to, oh, to the individual. To that and then individual. We, and then we provide feedback after that at the end of the session. And a lot of times it's not necessarily feedback because people don't want to be told yeah. what to do or how they're doing. Right. They actually train you in Igala to ask questions. So when you ask a question to somebody who just experienced something maybe pretty powerful, um, their response will actually help them. And all the horse was doing was just mirroring what they were projecting. So it's an um, observation, not feedback, but like we notice yeah. the observation and yeah. then we ask questions. Yeah. About, you know, when the horse decided to run away from you, what were you feeling at the time? You know, but we make a specific... Like, like we're we rejection yes, or they yes. were running away yep. and I feel rejected because yep. why were they leaving? Right, right. Yeah. And then like yeah. when, when you leave the arena, how do, do other people react to you like that? You know, when you're angry or upset or you don't know how to express yourself properly. And that's when the light bulb comes on. And that's what it's about. Wow. Um, how would someone go about um, making an appointment to discuss this? We have a website and um, we're set up to accept credit cards um, and there's a schedule on there um, and you can call us. And what is your phone number? It's, it's on our forms. Um, and if you wanted to make an appointment with us, you can either call the 818-4463 or the 496-8832. Um, is there a website by chance? There is a website. And there is a website. It's called newpubequine. Dot com, um, and then like we and we're on Facebook as and well. And we're on Facebook, and we have our own website. Um, but like for me, like if you were gonna, so we do equine assisted psychotherapy and team building. So we have people that come out, like companies that will come out, and they just want to do a team building activity. That would be self pay. But for the equine assisted psychotherapy side, um, that can be built through an insurance company okay. as psychotherapy. Yep. Okay, wow. And how long have you both been doing this? Or have you both been involved in um, therapy prior to this type of therapy? I'm, um, I actually do traditional therapy, too, okay. at an office. In um, Racine? Kenosha. Okay. Yep, Kenosha. I'm um, okay. actually... Um, it's, it's called Pathways Counseling, okay. um, and that's where, you know, you come in and you do traditional in-the-office therapy, or like with kids, we do play therapy, um, and this is just kind of something that's non-traditional, and it's solution-focused, which is kind of nice. You don't have to have 10 sessions to be able to come up with, you know, an answer or whatever. Um, it's pretty much like right on the spot, you know, right away, um, so that's what's kind of nice about it, and some people are tired of the traditional therapy and so this is just something for them that um, that's exciting for them you know and, and as, I, as I said they get pretty much an answer right away wow. and what about uh, Brenda with you are you do you also do any other therapy or just this type just this type um, I'm also a horse owner so oh. um, I'm the equine specialist so I can keep keep the place pretty safe as far as the horses go because I know a lot of them that are at the barn um, so they're familiar, the horses are familiar with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, um, but a lot of what we do, you know, it's almost like the horses are doing the work. Mm -hmm. It's our job just to watch and ask questions. And that's kind of what they train you with the galas. Everything means something. Mm -hmm. And um, when you've got a 1,200 pound animal giving you feedback about yourself, you're going to listen. Right. So, but it's just True. information. And what do they say about nonverbal communication? So 80% of communication is nonverbal, and 20% obviously is not. 
So we had um, an activity, a team building activity, and there's like seven or eight therapists. They, I mean, they it was just for team building. They all worked together, and it was their day out or whatever. So um, we we had them do like. Um, we had ribbons in between, they were holding ribbons, that's how they, they were staying connected and we wanted them to move a horse into a certain place. They were getting kind of frustrated because they were, what the leader was over here and she's like telling the other person over there, so there's like eight people, there was quite a few. And so this person over here at the end didn't understand. So eventually they said, can we just talk, can we talk? They got the same results, which is funny because that's, I mean, that, that's just how powerful our own emotions are and our aura is and our intention is. Mm -hmm. Very powerful. Mm -hmm. Doesn't very matter what powerful. you say, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> very powerful. Well, thank you both so mm -hmm. much. Um, we will definitely share your phone number as well and your website, how Sounds to get in good. touch with you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. So we are here with Michael Crothers with BMO, and you are today here at the Health and Wellness Fair. And tell us a little bit about why you're here and what you're telling people today. Uh, so I'm here. Um, pretty much just telling people about our accounts and things of that sort. We're a full service bank, so we offer the uh, mortgages and personal loans and things of that sort. But our focus here today is kind Did of- Did you say personal loans? Personal loans. Okay, that's great. <laughs> uh, and credit building. Um, so we're here, I'm here actually today just uh, telling people about our accounts and things of that sort who kind of don't know about us. Um, we're a full service bank, like I said. Uh, a full service bank. Yes. Okay. So, you know, we do anything that any other, you know, bank would do. Um, so we Is there any perks of BMO versus other banks? So actually right now we're offering some cash um, incentives for setting up bank accounts. You said a cash incentive? Yes, ma'am. Um, it can be anywhere from $150 to $250. Um, so, and that's just for setting up direct deposits. So, wow. Yeah. So that's great. Um, are you yourself located in Racine? Yes. I'm actually on Main Street, uh, right down the street from oh, Midway okay. right so now. Oh, okay, so that makes sense why you're here, because yes. you're right in the area. Yep. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and how many BMOs are there in Racine? In Racine, there's three locations. Like I said, that's uh, the one on Main Street, there is one on Duran, and there's one on Spring Street as well. Okay, so. thank you so much. Is there anything else that, that um, we would need to know about BMO that would help us bank with you versus other banks? Um, like I said, we offer um, a lot of things from uh, credit building um, products, That's great. Um, and we also have financial services to where you know you can come in, uh, speak with someone about you know if you're early retirement or even going into retirement or even just you know going off to college. So Anything with like credit repair, helping with. Um, giving us information about student loan, different student loan things? Yes, so you can come in and sit down with uh, me or another relationship banker. Uh, we can definitely give you uh, some tips and things of that sort for things like that. And we do have credit building products right now as well. So. Oh, that's great. Thank you, Michael. Thanks for being here today. No problem. Okay, thank you. I do not sleep well. I have terrible insomnia, and most nights I only get like four or five hours of sleep. That is not healthy. Do you, do you sleep? How do you sleep? You know, Mac goes in waves. I, I sometimes I can sleep like now. I'm sleeping good, but then like maybe in a couple of weeks I'll go through those periods of time where like maybe for two or three weeks I'm not sleeping well. Right. So it kind of fluctuates. Have you tried like melatonin or magnesium or any natural things? I've tried melatonin. Tea. Tea. If actually, tea teas. helps. Melatonin kind of gives me headaches, but okay. um, tea helps. Okay, tea that's good. Help. Yeah. And do, you, and, and do you find like if you get, you know, seven, eight hours sleep that that next day you feel so much better? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, right. Yes. So mm -hmm. that's like so simple. Yeah. So, such a simple thing we can do that a lot of us can't do because yeah. we're thinking about what we have to do, right? Mm -hmm. We want to be productive. Yeah. So if we sleep, then we're not being productive. But if we get sleep, then actually the next day we're more productive. Yeah. Do you get enough sleep? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I just go to bed. If you just, then you fall asleep, you have yeah. no trouble falling asleep. If I'm doing different things, um, make reports, finance reports, or whatever, I have a tendency to stay up longer, and I have the day already planned it. So regardless, I still have to do what I need to do the following right. day. Right. But the next night, I'm just tired, so I'm gonna go to bed. And right. Go right. Right. Oh, yeah. got it. So, yeah. so you so that's a good that's a good philosophy because we I do that a lot in my house. What you said was so true. Like, if you have a night where you know you can't get enough sleep, right, a couple of nights maybe, or a night or two in a row, 
then at least try and make you know make up for it a little bit and get good sleep the next night. You right. know, um, it's just so that every night doesn't end up being no sleep because yeah. that's not good for us. Well, you're non-functional. Yeah, we can't function, and you know so. I'm Renee Beck Santiago, and we're at the first annual wellness fair in Racine at Gateway, and it is the first annual Racine Health and Wellness Fair. And we have multiple tables and multiple educational things going on today here in Racine. And we are here at the NAMI table. This is Nicole with NAMI. And NAMI is Racine, in, in Racine County, it's a national alliance on mental illness of Racine County. NAMI has helped many people in Racine um, cope with their mental illnesses and their depression and their anxiety and we refer lots of patients to them and we absolutely love them and we thank you so much for everything you do for Racine County. And tell us a little bit about, I currently have a support group um, paper here for NAMI which has lots of support groups in town, especially in Racine. Can you tell us just a little bit about that, Nicole? So our support groups are what we call peer-led support groups, um, which means that they are led by two individuals who are in recovery from a mental illness themselves. Um, recovery from mental illness does not mean that you're cured, it just means that you're in a place where you're healthy and can deal with stressors in a healthy way. Um, they're open and they're free to everybody. Um, we have two peer support groups which are for any kind of diagnosis so any diagnosis of mental illness is welcome there. We also have a Tuesday group for bipolar depression um, that's geared specifically for people living with bipolar disorder and or depression. Um, we offer a solo support group which is a survivor of loved ones of suicide. Um, that's open for family members who have lost a loved one to suicide. Um, we also have the Teen Talk support group, which is open to high school students. Um, we're always looking for new participants for the teen support group. That one is on Wednesdays. I'm a teen mom. Yay! Yay. Yeah, teen mom. Was 15. Yes, I had my son when I was 17. Yeah, so I. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, and we also offer a family support group. Our family support group is there for um, family members who have a loved one who lives with a mental illness so that they can better understand their loved one's mental illness. And sometimes it's hard for us to understand firsthand what someone is experiencing without really learning about it. That's great, thank you so much. Um, it, can anyone donate to NAMI at all? Yes. Okay. Yeah. If How would you, they go about doing that? If you'd like to make a gift to NAMI, we just ask you that you go to our website. It's www.namiracine.org. Um, and you can make a donation online or you can send it to directly to the office at 2300 Dakota Avenue. And that will go to help with continued education and support groups? Support groups. We also are doing a program where we're in the high schools right now talking to freshman health classes about mental illness and the signs and symptoms of those. Um, so it would go to help support the Ending the Silence program, too. That's awesome. That's awesome. Are you finding um, more kids wanting to be involved in these type of support groups? Absolutely, yes. Um, Is there anything for high school kids? So we, the Teen Talk group we have open for high school kids, but then we also have opportunities for um, 17 and 18 and older to um, volunteer and join us in our Ending the Silence program where we go and speak to younger youth about mental illness. Cool. So we're always looking for volunteers too. Oh, awesome, awesome. And they could um, call you or email you in regards to volunteering as well. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank Anything you. Anything else you'd like to tell um, the community about NAMI that, that we would need to know? Um, can someone just um, access this support group paperwork online? Yes, okay. everything, um, our schedules for support groups are all available online. If you go to our website again at namiracine.org, um, we have a list of our support groups and then my contact information is on there as well. So feel free to shoot me an email or call. Cool, thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you. Thank you. And what, have you, what are some things that you guys have done to decrease that morning stress? Anyone else? I just meditate. Just to meditate in the morning? Yeah. Before. Yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Cheryl? I found out that to decrease the pressure for myself is if I, feel, if, <clears throat> if I have an appointment like at 9 o'clock in the morning, I would like to get up at like 6 o'clock so I can give myself time. Right. Mm -hmm. So then you give yourself time to prepare. Mm -hmm. 
you relax, shower, have your coffee. I think it's hard for families, you know, because you get the ones that doesn't move quite as fast. Right. You got the one that's just not going to move. You mean for different personalities in the family? Well, yeah. Yeah, I know. And, I know. and then when you get to the point where no one is moving, you nowhere near as quickly as it should, then your voice level changes, raises. So, and so that causes, then it causes the anxiety. Exactly. And even like you said, Cheryl, even like when you're getting, there, getting ready to go to an appointment, taking yep. extra time so you're not rushing. Yep. Because if we rush, and, and my mom, mom, you've always told me that too, right. if we rush, we're more at increased risk for injuries too. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. We're gonna fall, yeah. yes. we're gonna we're gonna hit our head, mm -hmm. we're Very gonna clumsy. go down and knock our head on the yeah. counter, right? How many times have people done that, yes. myself included? I'm yes. in a hurry and I'm rushing and all of a sudden mm -hmm. the door hits me or I trip or whatever, right? And then too, Russian, you forget stuff that important things that you need to do yes, or you need forget to grab. something at mm -hmm. home. Yeah. And then your day on top of being because you don't have the things that you would normally yeah, have. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's I, I really think that and you know, like like I said, with my own personal life and all the patients I've worked with with eleven for eleven years, most of the time injuries are related to rushing. Mm -hmm. Most of our injuries are, you know, breaking legs, breaking femurs breaking your arm, slipping on ice, whatever. Most of the time when I asked, it was like, oh, I was rushing out the door. I was rushing to do this. I was rushing to do that. And so... You know, Renee, on the railroad, there's a saying, because, uh, you know, we're working around engines and trains, yeah. and there's a lot of things that can go wrong if you're not paying attention to what's going on around you. Well, they say, you know, fast is slow, and slow is fast. If you're trying to go too fast, something's going to happen. You're going to mess something up. You're going to get hurt. Now you're going slow. Right. But if you go slow, oh, right. you get the job done faster because now you don't have to double back and fix what you messed up. Exactly. So fast is slow and slow is fast. That, that's true. That's, that's, I agree with that. And, and, and I, I think that maybe that's why you're so slow, honey. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
And, and it looks like most insurances are accepted, including Medicare and Medicaid certain plans. Yes. That's great. And did you, I'm not sure if you said, where are you located? Did you say that? I'm I so did, sorry. but I'm okay. happy to repeat. We're at 927 Main Street. Oh, right downtown. Uh, right downtown. Okay. So we are on the bus line and we do have parking. So That's great. That's great. Tell us about your personal interests um, as to what different things you like to help people with. Oh, sure. All kinds of things, but trauma and addictions are my specialties. Um, anxiety disorders, I do a lot with that. Um, depression, the whole gambit, really. I have people with things coming in from stress to schizophrenia. That's awesome. That's awesome. And do you work... Um, do you, are you able to collaborate with um, prescribers as well to, to know about the, the health of the patient, to work with them closely? Absolutely. I actually prefer working and collaborating with their providers um, because it's not just the medication, it's not just the therapy. I think a healthy combination of the two of those things is what I see people have most success with. That's awesome. That's, oh, I wish we would have known because... Uh, Monique could have been with us because we just talked about ways to decrease depression without meds. And um, so you're, you're open to focus on those ways as well. Absolutely. That's Absolutely. good. I think sometimes people need um, to improve their skills and maybe take a few less pills. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. yes. Overall, yeah. overall, yeah. that's what we want to do for sure. Um, tell us when, when Momentum Counseling started. Uh, the brick and mortar uh, location just opened in 2018, uh, but I've been able to provide, I also can provide online services. I didn't mention really? that. Really? Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so if someone has a busy day and, and, they, and they need counseling on their lunch or something like that, that's something that you might be able to do. In certain circumstances, yes, but I do like to make sure that they are able to create a therapeutic environment. Right. Um, I can't do therapy with you while you're driving your car. For sure. Um, do people try to do that, by the way? No, because I explained it very well before we... <laughs> you set the boundary. Yes, That's absolutely. The yeah, you're not, no. you're taking time out for yourself. Absolutely. Okay. So you, you, you don't want to do it when the kids are running around, and so we want to make sure that if we are doing online, that we can create a therapeutic environment. It's very important. That's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, anything else we would we would need to know about you? Um, just that you know I care about people. You know I do this because I'm passionate about it. Um, it's not just a paycheck for me. Uh, I do free consultation, so we you can people. come in and chat with me and see if it's a good fit, uh, and then we can go from there. So you would do a free consult with Absolutely. someone to see if it, it would be a, a relationship that would work to, help, to help them. Absolutely. Okay, that's yeah. great. That's great. Thank you so much You're for welcome. talking thank to us you. today. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank you. Hi, thanks for being at the Wellness Fair today. Um, tell us a little bit about Rosenthorn. Uh, Rosenthorn is herbs and acupuncture. It's an in-home care. Uh, Jennifer Rose is our practitioner. Um, she has expanded from having clinics. She teaches at the Midwest College of Oriental Medicine. She's a professor there. And she's expanded from clinics into in-home care. So people who are unable because of pain or their condition to easily go to appointments or to get out of the house, she can come directly to them to and do their sessions right in your home. With the acupuncture or your office right or, or yes. Oh, wow. Is yeah. that amazing? Yeah, it's, it's really, um, there's not a lot offering that in-home service sure. so definitely our most important thing is to get the medicine to the people and whatever means it, it it acquires I was just even saying to Hymen yesterday I was having a really bad asthma attack at home and I was saying gee if I had like an acupuncturist or something that could come to the house today or right. you know so that that would be the yeah. kinds of things and that's you the service do. we're providing yes <laughs> wow yeah that's so amazing. Um, we have some information as far as there's a lot of things that acupuncture does and is very successful, clinically proven to, to help with. Oh, for sure. It's a very safe procedure if you have a certified and licensed technician. Right. You want a therapist working on you who knows what they're doing. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, Jennifer, now yeah, Jennifer is, is licensed with the state of Wisconsin, but her certification is with the National Acupuncture um, Association. So she's highly accredited. 
Uh, she did her studies here at um, Midwest Oriental College, which is they're the second oldest Oriental medicine school in the in the United States. Right, right. Um, she did very well. She studied in China directly under school there, and then came back. She's been doing acupuncture roughly 15 years. She also is an herbologist. Wow. So the two coming together, With the herbs. herbs, acupuncture, mm -hmm. treating in addition to you know. Um, what your individual needs may require. Right. So it's it's a tremendous service. Um, I had no idea that you know someone would be able to even go to the home potentially to do that. Right. Right. Her her background is in nursing <coughs> in Western medicine nursing. That's where I met Jennifer 20 years ago. We worked cases together. Um, she has she's certified in shiatsu, acupressure, and then has moved on to acupuncture and the herbologist. So uh, quite an extensive background. She understands Western medicine, she understands Eastern medicine, and where the two correlate and come into conjunction. Um, she holds detox uh, clinics in group settings. Uh, she holds um, individual uh, consultations. Uh, charting just like you would with with any practitioner right she'll chart your case she'll see what's the most effective care for you and what route to take acupuncture generally is two to three times a week usually twice a week for five to six weeks depending on the condition and then it might broaden out to 10 to 12 weeks um, mm -hmm. Medicare is working now actively as we speak to um, be able to uh, bill Medicare for services, but many insurance companies do. We are working to be able to fully bill insurances, but we do have forms we can fill out and you can submit to your own insurance company. She keeps it very affordable, mm -hmm. um, very affordable so that, you know, it's open to, to many folks to receive the benefits. What, are, what is the contact information where someone could reach her at? Okay, it's rosenthorn.com is our website, okay, rosenthorn.com. Um, as I said, it's an in-home care. So you go to our website, <coughs> you call our number, we'll set up a consultation, we'll set up a, a time um, that she can come and see you, and we'll take care of your cares right there. Wow, that is just fantastic. Um, I've had success with acupuncture as, as well as many people that I know that have. I've had tremendous success, and that's what, that, it, actually why I re relocated to Wisconsin. I'm from Michigan, and knew Jennifer there. I relocated here to help market her business because I've had huge success. Uh, the main areas of acupuncture most effective is pain, chronic and acute, and mental. Um, uh, mental, emotional support, anxiety, depression. but. We treat GI, we treat uh, arthritis, um, pre and post surgical. There's a lot of benefits um, that are, and we can give you all the trial, you know, all the, the trial conclusions and such, stating, you know, how it's proven effective. But um, it's something that's easy, it's affordable. There's no toxicity, it's totally non toxin. You don't have the adverse effects. And with the opioid crisis right now, it's a... Perfect.